Hello everyone and welcome back to Shanahan Militaria. In today's video we're doing an unboxing. Now just a disclaimer before I go into this box. This is from SOF Soldier of Fortune in the UK. This is not a sponsored um, video. I bought this stuff just to finish off a, my World War II haversack that I'm putting together. One of the things in here I believe is original but everything else is a reproduction and the idea behind that is because I hope to be getting into reenacting World War II stuff and the actual stuff I want to use I prefer to use reproduction, good quality reproductions and I will keep the original stuff for actual static displays. So once we have that little stuff out of the way. Now this arrived today in the post, I have just the top part of it taken off because my um, name and address was on it and I didn't want to broadcast that so nicely packed um, I I have never actually bought anything from Soldier of Fortune in the past I don't believe I have I have come across some of their reproductions and um, some of their stuff is good quality some of their stuff is bad quality and um, some of it is accurate some of it isn't accurate um, that's up to you now that they're for a price level and for an entry level, yes, their stuff is fine. I have no issue with anybody buying um, anything from Soldier of Fortune. It's literally buyer beware. So we have lots of newspaper here anyway, first of all, or wrapping paper. Now, in here we should have black leather boot laces for a... Um, my uh, soldiers hold all. Now I don't know whether they should be round or square. I must check that up. But that's one thing anyway. That's just a little finishing um, item I got for my uh, haversack as I said. Everything in here is for the haversack actually to tell you the truth. Now this is just a little knife fork and spoon holder. Um, that you can keep them separate in your haversack rather than having them in your uh, hold on or your for you it's just more easier to be chuck taking this out of your haversack than your big than your big roll altogether Move more paper these are self-explanatory wool gloves size medium let's pop them open let's see what the quality looks like and they're grand nice Weave seems to be okay. Um, when you get gloves, um, a very tip is to look in between the fingers because sometimes there's an actual gap between the stitching. Now, I'll just try them on. These are a size medium. Yeah, they're fine. They're perfect. They'll do the job. So, there's our gloves. Now, this is what they said was an original Canadian made comb. Um, sure it's only a couple of pounds anyway so I'm not too worried about it um, I do have a timber comb in my um, wash roll at the minute but I'm going to change it out to this one it's just more accurate um, self explanatory comb now a uh, next item we have is a sorry for the sound of plastic It's a reproduction, I do have it marked as a commando cap, but it is actually a, it is a commando cap, it's not an actual hack or comforter as I thought. Oh, that's misleading because on the website I believe this is marked as a hat comforter, well that's what I bought. But Oh well, same thing, it can still be used, might not exactly be completely accurate but we can get over, we can get over that and we'll find a use for it. So that's a, a commando hat that I wasn't expecting but that's a, that could be my fault too, I might have ordered the wrong thing. And the next item is, oh, let's do a bit of ripping, there we go. 
is a brown mug. Now the reason I went with the brown as well because is I do have a first world war collection and I plan on getting into the reenacting as well and I think the brown was more accurate for the second world war and during the first world war it was the white um, mug with the blue rim. So just as a contrast that's why I went with the brown bit. The brown mug, so that's all it is, self-explanatory. It is marked at the back there but... It, it, it's a reproduction. So I just moved the box out of the way and I put everything in frame again. So we got the mug, we got the <laughs> commando hat slash hat comforter, cap comforter, we got the comb, we got the wool gloves, we got the knife, fork and spoon holder and we got the leather laces. Nothing major, nothing out of the world but just some nice little items to try and finish off my um, haversack. So if you like what we provide here at Shanahan Militaria, please like, please subscribe, please tune in for the next video. And if you'd like to get in contact with the channel, as always, the uh, email will be at the top of the video description. Thank you.